Let's talk about calories. What are calories? What they're used for? What is a calorie deficit? What is a calorie balance? And what is the calorie surplus? So if you're interested in knowing what are they and what they're used for, stay tuned. Okay, first of all, what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of measurement. It measures energy and our body needs energy to function properly. So we measure that in terms of calories. Each individual burns a certain amount of calories per day, and this will vary from person to person. So there are several factors that are taken into account, and there are some formulas out there that are used to calculate how many calories each person burns in a day. And they take into consideration the age, the sex, the energy level, and the how much the person measures, um, what, what is its height. Once you know how much you burn per day, you can compare that to um, what you're actually eating and if it's the proper amount of calories for your fitness goal. So number one, what is a calorie deficit? A calorie deficit is when a person is eating less than what they burn. But this is not a specific number, it's more of a range. And if you're eating 50 calories less than what you burn, you might not be really in a deficit. So a good starting point that is used is around 200 calories less. What is a calorie deficit used for? So a calorie deficit is used in individuals that want to lose weight because the body will be burning more than what it uses so it needs to go somewhere and find that energy that it needs right so it goes to the fat stores to the carb stores and to the muscle to use that energy from there so everything that has been stored before and that way people lose weight so again if you want to lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit. Number two, what is a calorie balance? Calorie balance is when the individual is burning the same amount of calories or in the same or near the same range that they consume. So there's no change in weight. And again, this is not a specific number, it is a range. And this phase is also called maintenance. So if you don't wanna increase your weight, if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna lose weight, you will be in a calorie balance or in a maintenance phase. Number three, and last one, is a calorie surplus. And which one are we missing in the list? The one where we are eating more calories than what the body is actually using. So what is the body gonna do with what it is not using? It's gonna store it. It's gonna store it as fat. It's gonna store it as, at mus as muscle. It's gonna store it as glycogen, depending on your diet and your activity level. And that means that you're eating more than what the body is using. Who wants to do this? So actually people that want to build muscle, people that want to increase their weight, people that want to bulk up, they have to be in a calorie surplus in order to see results. And again, a calorie surplus is a range and a good starting point is 200 calories above the calorie balance or the maintenance level, the amount of calories that you would um, burn in a day. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that you can understand um, if you wanna lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. If you wanna maintain weight, you need to be in a calorie balance. 
and if you want to increase your weight or increase your muscle um, tone and size, you need to be in a calorie surplus. There are formulas out there. You can check how much you burn in a day and you can adjust that in your diet. Hi there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. For more fitness and nutrition tips, you can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook.